Carrie. Welcome to part two of my toy collection. Tyrannosaurus, one of the most popular carnivores ever. Made popular by lots of movies, I guess. This is a really nice model and there's really good detail around the jaws there and you would have seen the overbite then. Pliosaurus was a carnivorous marine reptile. Mesosaurus was their greatest enemy. They breathed air through their nostrils on the upper front of their head by surfacing. It had a soft hide. Their diet would have included fish, cephalopods and marine reptiles. Lots of very sharp teeth there. See if you can guess which one I'm going to pick up next. The very last dinosaur today is Verapasaurus. Can you tell me if it came from India or Africa? Verapasaurus is the dinosaur underneath this Spinosaurus. Another Diplodocus. This is a really well painted model. You can see osteoderms there on the back and there's that long whippy tail. Let's take a look at the back there. And here's the front and back feet and you can see those thumb claws again. A really nice model. Cardinal bird. They are robust, seed-eating birds with very strong bills. The male is red in colour. Edmontonia lived in the late Cretaceous period. It was a nodosaurid ankylosaur meaning it did not have the dangerous club tail that ankylosaurus like ankylosaurus had. It was an armoured dinosaur, bulky, broad and tank-like. It grew to about 6.5 metres or 22 feet in length. Spinosaurus is known to have eaten fish and most scientists believe that it hunted both terrestrial and aquatic prey. Evidence suggests that it lived both on land and in the water as a modern crocodile does. I rather like the cartoon like face on this one. Spinosaurus was the biggest of all the carnivorous dinosaurs, larger than Tyrannosaurus and Giganotosaurus. Caprosuchus is a reptile that lived in the Cretaceous period. Its name means boar crocodile. The name comes from the three sets of teeth that look like the tusks of a wild boar and definitely has the look of a crocodile. It would attack prey near a watering hole when they came for a drink. Fossils have been discovered in Africa, in Niza. Its teeth stick out above and below its jaw, but fit together when the jaw is closed due to notches in the jawbone. The Australian kangaroo, and she has her joey in the pouch. Kangaroos are found in the bushland in Australia. They move around by hopping on those back feet. They're able to hop right over quite tall fences. They are herbivores. The cave bear was a species of bear that lived in Europe and Asia during the Pleistocene and became extinct about 24,000 years ago. The word cave is used because most of the fossils have been found in caves. This reflects the views of experts that cave bears may have spent more time in caves than the brown bear, which uses caves only for hibernation. 
wild zebras live in Africa and are part of the Equidae family along with horses and donkeys. They run from side to side to escape their predators. The ears of a zebra show its mood and they have excellent eyesight and hearing. Tiger, such a magnificent big cat. Most tigers live in Southeast Asia, China, Korea and Russia. Tigers like to live in swamps, grasslands and rainforests. They enjoy the water and are very good swimmers. Dunkel Osteus was a heavy armoured fish. It could grow to 11 and a half feet or 4 metres in length and had large scissor-like cutting jaws with serrated razor-sharp bones, but no teeth. Its skull was over 2 feet or 60 centimetres long and it had a jointed neck, an eel-like tail and hinged body shields. Coelacanth lives deep in the ocean. There are still two known species alive today. They have a hinge joint in the skull which allows the fish to widen its mouth for large prey. The step mammoth. It was the first stage in the evolution of the step and tundra elephants and an ancestor of the woolly mammoth of later glacial periods. The step mammoth has a short skull and a smaller jaw. The males had spiral tusks with a recurved tip that could grow as long as 5 metres or 16 feet. It was the first mammoth to develop a dense coat because it lived in cold climatic conditions. It also had a very short tail. Papo Roaring Smilodon, commonly known as the saber-toothed tiger. Smilodon was not really a tiger, although very distantly related to the modern day cheetah, tiger and lion. I love its teeth on this model. The massive curved canines grew to about 12 inches or 30 centimeters in length. Their teeth were not very strong, so they were mainly used to puncture or stab an animal. Untertherium is an extinct megafauna mammal which lived about 45 to 40 million years ago. It was a herbivorous mammal that roamed the plains of North America. A full size one would have been about 13 feet long and about 2 tons. This would have made it virtually immune to predation. It was just too large for anything else to eat it. The giant sable antelope. They're quite impressive. They have a round barrel chest with a short neck and a long face. The horns can grow to 65 inches long and they grow straight up and then sweep and curve backwards. Both males and females have horns and manes on the neck. Nigerosaurus was 9 metres or 30 feet in length, which is quite small for a sauropod. It had a short neck and weighed around 4 tonnes, about the same size as a modern day elephant. It had a small head, thick hind legs and a prominent tail. It lived during the Middle Cretaceous times. It had a wide muzzle filled with more than 500 teeth, which were replaced at a rapid rate around every 14 days. Well, I really like this new humpback whale. I like the way that the jaw opens. It's a really nice model and lots of extra detail underneath. It was a filter feeder. Humpback whales are not predatory as they filter feed for tiny krill or small surface fish. 
they are totally harmless to people. The Raposaurus is a genus of basal sauropod dinosaur from early Jurassic rocks in India. The Raposaurus comes from the lower part of the Kota formation that dates back to the early Jurassic. It is therefore one of the earliest known sauropods. The Raposaurus is known from about 300 bones from at least six different individuals, so that the skeleton is almost completely known. Thank you for watching my video. It really helps if you're able to share my videos on any of the social media sites that you like to visit. See you again soon.